When building your application, it's important to know where and how images are uploaded to your Cloudinary Media Library. For instance, let's say you're building a user profile page where you allow users to upload photos of themselves to be used as avatars. That would be considered an untrusted source. Or if you're building a backend for your application and you interact with your media library through there, that would be considered a trusted source. It's very important to protect your Cloudinary account and your application from bogus image uploads. And in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Cloudinary Node.js SDK to handle both untrusted image uploads and trusted image uploads. For the untrusted case, we'll use unsigned upload presets to format and transform the images to look and feel the same. And for trusted image uploads, I'll show you how to use the Cloudinary SDK to generate a signature and upload the images securely to your Cloudinary account. Okay, let's get into the details now. First, I'm going to show you how to handle untrusted images with an upload preset. In the Cloudinary dashboard, start by going to Settings and then clicking on Upload. Now we can add an upload preset with this button here. First, we'll start with the basic settings. We'll give your upload preset a name. I'm calling ours Untrusted Images. Make sure this is unsigned for uploads directly from the client. And we'll store these images in the Cloudinary node signed upload demo folder that I've created for this video. Finally, as far as naming things goes, we'll use the file name for the public ID. Next, let's add some transformations to our untrusted images. Click this transform button here. In order to visually show that these images are untrusted, we'll just add one transformation, making the image grayscale. Next, let's go to the Manage and Analyze tab. And in here, again, just to denote that these images are untrusted, we'll add an untrusted tag to the image. Then click the blue Save button, and you're good to go. Now you can see our untrusted images preset, which is unsigned in our list of upload presets. Now we can write some code to upload an untrusted image and see that this upload preset applies automatically. We start here by importing the Cloudinary SDK from Cloudinary and configuring it using our cloud name, API key, and API secret. Next, I've defined the path to a local file on my machine that we want to upload to Cloudinary. And now we're ready to call the uploader.unsignedupload method. This is important to use the unsigned version of this. And as parameters, we give it the path to the image, the upload preset that we want to use, which is the untrusted images preset we just made, and we'll define a public ID of what we want the file to be called. If we run this script, we should see the URL of the image being logged out to the console. Let's try it out. All right, we've got the URL to the uploaded image. Let's go to our Cloudinary Media Library and check it out. Okay, I'm inside of my Cloudinary node signed upload demo folder, and you can see I uploaded a photo and it got turned to grayscale to indicate that it is untrusted. And if we click on it, we can also see that it has the untrusted tag that we specified in the upload preset. Good, now we're handling untrusted images properly. Imagine in your application, you could handle these however you wanted to, by optimizing them a certain way, cropping them down, changing the color or size, however you like. Next, I'll show you how to manually generate a signature and upload signed images to Cloudinary. Note, this is a manual process, and the Cloudinary SDK can do this for you, but I wanna make sure you know how to do it both ways. In order to create a signature, we need to use the API sign request method. This method takes some specific bits of information and uses them to generate a secure signature. In this case, this signature is based on the folder where the upload is going to go, the public ID of the file that you want to upload, a timestamp that was generated here, and finally, your API secret. This ultimately produces a signature that we will use in the upload command to pass along with the image. If we go to the terminal and run this script, you'll now see we get this big hash that represents a secure signature for this specific image upload. And remember, these signatures are not intended to be reused. They need to be recreated for each image upload as they're unique to that specific image and that upload process. Now that we have a generated signature, we're going to use the REST API to upload that same image of that building along with the signature to create a signed upload. A signed upload 
indicates to Cloudinary that we can trust where this image is coming from. In order to do this, we're going to use the REST API, which means we'll use raw fetch to send the request, as well as form data to include the image and all the parameters. The first step is to create a data URI out of your image. We can do that by reading the file, converting it to base64, and then including that in a data URI by specifying the image type and the encoding. Next, we build the URL that we're going to hit for this API request. It's located at api.cloudinary.com, and you have to specify your cloud name. Next up, we'll create a form data object and append all the information we need to it. Very similar to using the Cloudinary SDK, we specify the file, the folder, and the public ID. But what's unique to sign uploads is our timestamp, our API key, and the signature. These three parameters help verify the authenticity of the upload. Now that our form data has all the relevant information in it, we can send the fetch request using a post method with form data as the body. And what we get back in the response is the URL of the secure image that we uploaded. Let's run this in the terminal and verify. When I run npm start, you'll see our signature gets printed out and the URL of the image that was uploaded. Let's check our Cloudinary Media Library and ensure it was handled correctly. If I refresh, I see another picture of the building that we just uploaded. You'll see this picture of the building was signed and therefore didn't go through the upload preset that made it black and white. So because it's color, we know we can trust it. Now, I know that was a lot of work to manually create a signature and then use the REST API, but I wanted to make sure you knew how to do that manually before I showed you that the Cloudinary SDK upload method does all this for you. When you configure the SDK, as long as you're providing the cloud name, API key, and API secret, it can sign image uploads for you. So in this case, the SDK has been configured correctly. We can call the upload method, give it the path to our image, the folder, and the public ID, and it will sign this image upload. So we've called this one Chase SDK Signed, and this should get signed automatically and show up in our Cloudinary Media Library under this name. Okay, we've ran the script in the terminal. Let's go check the media library. And yes, we do have three images. This one is the unsigned version that was uploaded from the SDK. This is the signed version that was uploaded through the REST API. And then finally, like we just saw, and it was much easier, this is the signed image upload that came from the SDK. And now you should have a much better understanding of how to handle trusted and untrusted image uploads in your application using upload presets and signed image uploads.